Hello everybody and welcome back to Hazecraft. As you can see the storage system is done and I actually streamed on Monday. Uh, streamed, we collected up some terracotta and also went to the end to collect a bunch of shulker boxes to start filling up these guys here. Uh, which is going pretty well. You can see we got the option to take out just a stack of items or take out a whole shulker box worth of items here, which is amazing. Put that there, and so we got some dirt, got some dirt, cobble, and smooth stone there, and then sand, gravel, and netherrack. Uh, those were the six that I had said, just to even it out. We have our six storage modules. This one doesn't have chests for a very specific reason, and that is I can come here with all the shulker boxes that I carry on my person. I say that like I have shulker boxes left after filling up that. I got I have a couple shulker boxes left. You can see here's a bunch of the terracotta we picked up the other day. But I can come here, throw these on, drop off a bunch of spare redstone supplies, and instead of flowing into the redstone chest, whichever one of these will be for redstone stuff, they'll flow into here first and fill up the shulker box first. Obviously the same rules apply that we have to fill up all the slots, but that way uh, we can ensure that our shulker boxes stay stocked up as well. Just a nice easy way to do that. I put in some dark oak trapdoors and stairs at the back there. And that's sort of to box it in and give it this dark background. You can see with these other ones, we do sort of have some stone through there, but I think once we build the facade, um, these those will be mostly hidden. And I won't mind as much as this one where we can just clearly see through the hoppers. We also went to the end on the stream, raided some end cities, like I said, got all the shulker boxes. Also got a decent amount of gear, I think. Yeah, both of the chest plates have Curse of Vanishing, but uh, they'll get used. Got some mending leggings, two pairs of mending leggings, some uh, other decent, like that shovel just needs mending and it's perfect. That just needs efficiency four and one other enchantment, so some uh, very, very good stuff also, more than a stack of iron, and we're going to use that to make, yeah sure, 12 hoppers. Um, so here, this will be the input chest to our system, use a trap chest, that way I can throw things in there, and it won't suck them up immediately. Uh, I did put that chest there because also in line with this we have there's a hopper minecart there so in theory you can put a shulker box on and it'll suck it up and then take the shulker box as well so we'll have to wait for <laughs> that to come around pull some of these out of there yeah so and then there's also Somewhere down over here is another one of these blocks there. That block there. There's another uh, mine or a uh, hopper mine cart there that'll just put it into this half here. And the plan for today, we have input for this system. I also want to make output for this system. And that's going to involve tearing up some of this dirt around here. And a while ago, I made a tutorial for a garbage can chest. So I'm going to try to remember how to build that here. So that is actually easier to remember than I thought. And I can put a link down to my video in the description. But here is the basic principle. And 
I guess we're gonna have to do some uh, proper magic here. I think if we go like that, hmm. We're gonna have to figure out how to get, I guess we can come sort of like this. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to get the hoppers in there. But the basic, how to get that feed in there. Uh, but the basic idea is, and maybe we just put it in from this side. Basic idea is, is you have item flow in here. And... Once... There is the turn that off. Okay, so once there's items in the chest, as they're going in there from there, uh, if there's items in the chest, chest redstone lamp turns on because this comparator detects it. Torch tower here, so we can come here, take a look, grab what we want to keep. And then this button right beside it, we say not this, the rest of this is garbage. Button right beside it powers this redstone, turns off this torch, which will unpower this. And because there's items in the chest, this torch is on. This repeater here should be, should be on because it's being powered, but it's locked right now. Get back up. So by depowering this, it'll unlock that repeater. This torch will turn that repeater on and then we'll get it locked on. So now all these items, no matter what the signal strength, again, all these items and whatever else we throw in there will get sucked out by this hopper at the bottom here. And then this guy will turn off and it looks like we need some delay there. All right, there we go. So we can go back to dust there. This repeater here needed to be on four ticks or probably less just to match the button length. The four ticks would match the delay of the button. Let's throw those in there. Yeah, so at least two ticks there. Redstone dust. We'll bring our hopper chain out here, and then we have to figure out how to route it inside there. As you sometimes have to do when you're building with redstone, I made a few changes, a couple tweaks, just to make everything fit a little better. You can see this is our hopper line in, so it flows all the way under here to this hopper and into the chest. And it comes from this little item elevator, which comes from our output of our big storage system. We had to get it up a whole two blocks uh yeah most of it is pretty much the same just a little rotated we have our button out the front here lamp directly above it which is nice i don't mind having this redstone here because eventually there will be walls going up like this so we'll never see that um once we get some of the de decoration going here Get that so you can see we have some stuff in the chest we have to reset it piston with an observer so when it retracts it'll send a pulse through here which will pulse the same block as our button which we can see yeah right there lamp flashes a little but I don't mind again out of this torch here stepping down or this locked repeater straight back from the button had to use a repeater to bypass this torch repeater into a torch and then just down into the same setup here we do or did get uh get to put i guess let's uh take this out we did put a torch on here so that when this is powered 
this is unpowered so items can flow into the chest but when we're unloading the chest this will be unpowered which means this torch will be powered which will lock this hopper that way items can't flow in while that way items can't flow in while the chest is emptying so we can see that here let's just put some stone back in there and we'll empty the chest and so this and what little stone made it in there will empty but the rest of the things will pile up here and then once it's done emptying they'll come out of the hoppers here into the chest and be ready for the next emptying cycle that way we don't lose anything to or we don't leave anything up to chance and we don't lose any items that might flow through while this is emptying and so the next part is grab everything out of there the next and final part is just a little dispenser into lava or cactus whatever just to destroy the items that we don't want and that will be this output side done and i did manage i mean the hoppers on the other side but i did manage to get these in line with each other which is what i wanted and why i had to tweak everything here we will well might as well put as much of this back as we can as you can see we will have to do a little bit of work and that's fine because that was stuff i was going to uh build up anyways we'll build up sort of a side over it here we'll build up a side over this these trap doors are just for the look from the inside so that we can't see out to whatever's out there but yeah we'll build up some sides eventually Mostly I'm excited that this is here. I gotta fill in all these chests with all the stuff. And this will be a fully functioning sorting system. Like I said, these parts here are already fully functioning. All right, so it's a couple days later. I uh, started making a boulder around here. Right now this is just uh, my storage chest for stuff. So I haven't made the lava dispenser yet. That way, uh, I don't lose any of these items that I still want. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've done some decorating. This is, like I said, where we'll put our shulker boxes. Uh, I did, uh, put up some trap doors. It means that, uh, we have to put our shulker boxes facing up or leave spaces between them so they can open into spaces because they won't open into trap doors. Found that out. But uh, I think it sort of covers it up nicely. That way we don't have to look at all the hoppers, but we can still access all the hoppers and all the spaces if we open the trap doors. So it's not completely covered up, but it looks good. Um, use some colored terracotta here, just a bunch of different colors to sort of blend in with the shulker boxes. But that was pretty neat. I haven't done anything there. Uh, here, oh, I see why that, hmm, that's going to be annoying. So, here, I used to have stairs here, um, to sort of soften this curb, curve, but our comparator is on top of this block, and stairs, you can travel redstone up them, but a comparator won't power the block, so, uh, like this this shulker box wasn't getting broken here because the comparator couldn't power this block to put it in so hmm might just go with more solid blocks for these and do without the trap doors because if those are gonna open then i don't want to have to close them all the time um but yeah sort of got a nice little arch design. I think this sort of centerpiece here is cool. Almost looks like an eye looking at you. And uh, yeah, that triggers the trapdoors there. Um, some supports using the bark 
to get the sideways log texture. And yeah, nice little arch, sort of uneven floor here, like there used to be a building here, but it's being taken over. I told you guys I was going to bring the uh, tag uh, biome into this build and have inspirations on it. Um, but yeah, like I said, that log's just temporary. Like I said, started building up here. Haven't done any work down below yet, but don't want to until I'm done using this chest as temporary storage. On this side, we have set up our wood. So we got the logs, the, oh, I guess it's wood. Uh, and then the stripped logs along with a bunch of leaves, a bunch of saplings for all six wood types and their plank varieties. So these are not full by any means, but they do have some in. I think that has the most variety in it. Um, yeah, and then again with the sideways textures, the redstone lamps here to just provide some more illumination in here. Under this sort of stuff, I do have glowstone. There's some under the carpet here. Oh. Huh. Don't know where I got the three carpet from. Must have picked it up from in there. Um, but yeah, some glowstone in here. Uh, we will have end rods. I'm gonna get the Exuma pack from exumavoid.com and change these to gray so it blends in with the cobblestone. Uh, and it'll just look a little better. This used to be fence posts running all the way up, but because I had to change this block, the fence post attached, and it just didn't look that good. So we'll use it as an excuse to get some more lighting in here. Um, yeah, and then just on top is a buttload of leaves. Just to cover up the redstone, because you still could sort of see, and you can sort of see the redstone torch in there. So, we've just been going through with a bunch of leaves. Toss that guy up there. And we'll just sort of fill. Oh, yeah, that's that's why we could see it. And, oh, we made it. Just sort of fill all this in so that we can't necessarily... There. Can't necessarily see the redstone and the hoppers that are up there. Um, just sort of covers it up, make it, makes it seem more natural, along with some hanging leaves and stuff, um, but yeah, got some mossy cobble, coarse dirt, grass podzle mix for the taiga, I'll get some more ferns and mushrooms, and we'll sort of intersperse those, there's some more spruce stuff to intersperse those with um with all this just sort of bring it all together this block here so i've sort of surrounded it in like a c so that i can tell that uh that's where the hopper minecart is on that side and then here it's the lone coarse dirt block that way i sort of gives myself a target to aim at but one that isn't obvious um, other things, that mob farm, so you see I took down all the dirt there, that's because I've removed all the torches, all the creepers are spawning nicely, finally got all the cats to sit still, so that is working wonderfully, obviously it doesn't look much like an airship right now, it's just sort of a floating oval ellipse thing, um, in the sky. Uh, so we gotta do some decorating on that. That nether portal has to move. I think we'll move it to out this end, sort of as close to Cactus Monkey's portal as possible. Maybe over there. We'll figure it out. It might go out over there. Um, because unfortunately he's not playing on the server anymore, so we can use his portal because these two portals are linking up in the nether. It's easy to get them going from the nether to the overworld. Easy to get that differentiation there. But from the overworld to the nether, I just couldn't figure it out. So I'll have to tear down that entire thing. Oh, and uh, I see I did leave some more dirt here. But we'll have to tear down this entire thing and rebuild it.
So hopefully I can do that between episodes. We'll see. I'm more excited about uh, this storage system. Right now there you can see some of the hoppers up there. We'll get that all covered up though. But yeah, that I think is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. Let me know what you guys think about the design of this place. I'm liking it so far. Um, I think it's going pretty well. And yeah, we'll just replace these with planks or even upside down stairs. Um, I think would look good there. Uh, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next episode.